Alright, Jins guys, what's up? Today I'm gonna make a video, one of the many videos I never get to or never get around to. And the video I have plenty of excuse to make, but it's just one of the videos that I never get around to, and I can't make up my mind what I want to say and what topic I want to cover. Today, I think, in light of the comments on some of my other videos, that instead of making the comments about an opinion on the topic, you'll get things, comments like, oh, you repulse me, or why don't you cut your hair, and all that crap. So, today's video, I'm going to address those comments, because it gives me excuse to... Because I, I always wanted to make a video and say the same things that I tell people in the world and, um, and I wanted an excuse to actually say these things in the video which I never get around to so today for all you guys who like to make them kind of comments I'm gonna grace you with this video and hopefully it gives you some uh, hopefully it helps you physically spiritually and psychologically and all of that stuff because that's the kind of the nice guy that I am I'm just it's like giving the dogs a bone and it's like throwing some bird seed or some breadcrumbs out to the birds or the pigeons you know it's like a nice thing to do and it makes you feel good and it makes the birds and the dogs happy so that's what I'm doing for Yin's guys today so that's why I'm gracing you with this video you know, it's almost like hand feeding the pigeons, you know. And and I always regarded some of Yin's guys as my favorite comedians, because I I know I seen a lot of videos that were satire and comments that I also believe they're satire and since comments like well when somebody says, Yeah, you repulse me, I'm like, Why thank you? Take it as a compliment. But then the things like well, there's probably all you other uh, mullet heads or long haired guys that think the same thing, too. You see that comment, like, somebody uh, makes a comment like that, or in the world says that's like, uh oh, uh, I think he said you better cut your hair, so I'm, I better run and do that. Not! But I regard these people as my favorite comedians, because obviously, since the comments make me want to bust out laughing, when you think about it, I don't think they're insulting me. They're comedians, right? And when you laugh, somebody obviously is a comedian when they make you laugh. So, in matter of fact, you know, I can barely make this video and talk about it without almost busting out laughing. You know what I mean? So, obviously, those are my you know, favorite comedians. Uh, but another thing I... Like to tell some Yen's guys too. I'm doing you a favor now, you know too, by just telling you ahead of time, you know, about that there's a realization that you and society have to come to, you know, that us long-haired guys or even the other people you don't like, you know, goths. Uh, what do you what do you call them? Juggalos. What do you call them? Um, okay, the people that wear all the piercings. It's a bunch of people you don't like. I know a few of some of them personally, but. If it's somebody you don't like, I hope that they take over and ruin your whole neighborhood, you know, and you deserve it, you know. But I think it's funny, but like, I, I, like I've said before in other, to people in the world and a couple comments, the people I was talking to, like on YouTube, I got in some real good text comments. That, when I got in a couple good conversations in the form of text, I was like, damn, I wish to hell I could remember all that stuff when I got to make a video, because sometimes my videos are kind of crappy. But only, oh, and anyway, where was I? Um, yeah, that that divine realization that Yin's guys have to come to. Yeah, there's this, yeah, the sooner Yin's guys come to that realization, the better off you and society will be, you know? And when you guys come to that realization, there'll be an ultimate spiritual state of enlightenment. A divine holy, a divine light would just come through the ceiling and come upon you. And a, 
a divine energy will just hit you like a wave and it'll make you it'll just knock you right out of your chair now this isn't that Benny Hinn nonsense you know you see Benny Hinn in his videos going like this and people are falling on the floor and you see these stupid Christian people with teary eyed you know and actually falling for that crap because it teaches a kind of submissiveness you know it does not make sense and um, that's where I am on that you know but so anyway this isn't that Benny Hinn crap this is a a true real realization this is a true state of enlightenment that you'll come to and when you come to this realization you will know it because it'll knock you right out of your chair it will you know what I mean then all of a sudden you might start taking on a a whole new look you might wake up one morning and then you may not shave for a day or two and then man then your hair might actually start actually touching the collar and then all of a sudden you won't get all scared anymore you know and you will be like nah whatever and then you might start taking on a couple of appearances you might have that Glenn Danzig look or maybe in a little while you might even take on that look like the youtuber named Slaxer you ever see Slaxer S-A-L-A-X-X-E-R no I'm not making fun of him as a matter of fact I actually defended when they called him a uneducated filthy hippie you know and I'm I'm kind of one of them people that when it's somebody that somebody doesn't like I almost want to see a, a whole bunch of people that look like maybe Slaxer or anybody else or even like Glenn Danzig or anybody else I won't see them multiply and maybe ruin your neighborhoods you know what I mean and you know and there's a lot of us that occupy a lot of the industrial jobs and manufacturing jobs which by the way that's what I wanted to tell you too <laughs> Yeah, one thing I wanted to tell you too is like, speaking of that, I worked in places where we had a regular motley crew going, you know what I mean? Both guys and girls, some with piercings and some people with short hair and some people with long, some people with the mohawk, mohawk going and some more conservative types, you know, that are all the pink or baby blue, pol pink or baby blue polo shirt, you know, absolute, you know that way and then you had the people you know the white and black you know with the baggy shirts and the baggy shorts deal you know and I know some of them out in the world hate each other but places where I worked like this one particular place we had a really regular Motley crew go and we all got along and actually uh, um, that place before it closed down and all that I actually missed some of them crazy son of a guns you know that's what everybody needs place like that but but another thing I wanted to tell some of you guys too if, before you make like a troll comment or any kind of thing like that I mean it's your freedom of speech I don't care it doesn't bother me like I said it makes me laugh but what I really would like to see Yin's guys do since I graced you with this video what you can grace me with is not just make the comment tell me uh, who you are and and the basic idea I don't want to know any of your private identity of course not but I what I would really like is okay a roundabout idea what you look like what is the perfect way to look if you're gonna make a comment like that okay smart guy tell me the proper way to look and if you if you want to go the far that far and make a satire video or a sarcastic video and make have yourself a little fashion runway in your basement or your backyard what's the perfect way to dress what's the perfect way to wear your hair and what's the perfect way to act walk talk eat poop you know and uh, that would be cool I mean you can't just leave a comment like that I mean it would be nice to know I mean it would be interesting to tell the other uh, YouTube videos, you know, either in a comment or if you want to make a sarcastic video. That's what I'm telling the semi yins guys. You need to. You don't even have to make it. You could even make an anonymous video with just talk with a. You can just make a video under uh, anonymousness or whatever uh, and just explain this to me. What is the perfect way to look? What's the.
Oh, and you also got to tell me, too, by what authority do you make your statements, you know what I mean? I mean, is it under a religion, maybe a religion that you made up? Or, say, do you uh, have an, uh, some kind of religion, some kind of god? Is there, like, a ver you know, one, you one of the many small and significant versions of Christianity, you know, how many there are now that are very self-proclaimed, so many of them, that, you know, it's, it's just the same way as atheists now. There's so many, there's no, not even one type of atheist anymore. There's just so many different kinds, you know, and I once saw on a video somebody talking about secular atheism or, or whatever, and this other guy was arguing and said, wait a minute, since when was our secular atheism? It doesn't, atheism doesn't have no dogma, but yet it's getting to that point, you know, there's simply because there's so many ideas that atheists have, so it's almost like it's getting to be a dog, dogma because there's so many, you know, I mean, no matter what religion or if you claim to be an atheist, there's so many different kinds of things. But, oh, and if it's, if anyway, not to yammer on too much and ramble on too much, also, if it's not under the authority of any god, is it under the authority of some kind of other idealism? Uh, maybe some kind of idealism in your clique or group? I know somebody that, maybe you're in one of them cliques or groups that uh, you don't have a mind of your own, and you have somebody that you regard as like your daddy, your ringleader, or you're in that clique like a strong man that actually did enforces the certain rules, like maybe you don't want to physically threaten any kind of ultimatum yourself, you know, for people who don't cut their hair, or people that don't look this this way, and maybe anybody that uh, smarts off to you, maybe you don't do anything yourself or threaten anything yourself, maybe in your clique you have some strong man that does it for you. Now, there's a few of those too, with so many crowds like that some kind of idealism yeah oh yeah let's see uh maybe you're a communist you know tell me that yeah what if you're some kind of communist explain this to me uh are you some Aryan nations type uh group or wannabe that's like absolute blonde haired blue eyes and maybe wear the pink or baby blue polo shirt thing or and you always have to be really like overdo it with the cologne, you know what I mean? Where somebody stands within three feet of you and you light a match, you know, and you can go up in flames. I mean, you got to tell me if it's by what authority and what grounds you have to uh, say this. I mean, is it an authority of your own, some kind of idealism of your own, or? you make in reference to some other kind of way it's supposed to be this anything whether it's a religion a god or some other kind of authority that that has nothing to do with religion maybe uh, some kind of social hygienist you know and what I mean by socialist social hygienist it would be like a socialist like people like Alex Jones talk about it's not about physically cleaning being clean it's almost like people that you one of those people that want to go after society and tell people what to do get rid of every single thing tattoos piercings certain kind of hair types you know you got to tell me that you know what i mean but but anyhow you you kind of got to explain yourself cuz otherwise you know we're just going to laugh at you well we laugh at you anyway but it would be nice to explain yourself, to tell me what you are, who you are, and why you think what you think, so that maybe some of the other, I don't know, mullet heads or long haired or goths or anybody else that you don't like, or anybody else or all the viewers in general, so that they can see your idiocy and they can see, just like me, can get a laugh out of it too, you know what I mean? That's the, the idea. But anyway, uh, that's it for this video, and see you next time.